can we read two articles? I'm sending you one of them uh, that's coming your way. But let me read this one. This is MB- This is CNN. NBC News pulls a report on Paul Pelosi's attack. NBC News on Friday pulled a, a report about the Pelosi attack, uh, that the network did not meet the standards. The piece should not have aired because it did not meet NBC's news reporting standards. An editor said uh, in place of storyline, the package from national correspondents Miguel made assertions that uh, were attributed to unnamed sources and appeared to raise questions about the circumstances of the attack. A network source told CNN it pulled the segment after the source of the reporter's information was found to be unreliable. The decision was not made was made to remove the segment after it was determined shortly after it aired that the main source for the information was unreliable regarding the questions of circumstances that the police encountered when they aired uh, at the house, especially specifically what the police saw and how far the attacker was from the door. Okay. I mean, that's kind of weird for NBC to do that. And then Reuters wrote this, which is kind of weird for Reuters to even write this. Fact checkers, existing records do not show Paul Pelosi's alleged attacker, David, told investigators they engaged in sexual relations and argued over drugs. Interesting to even put this up there for Reuters. Some social media users are saying that David, the suspect in the 20, uh, October 20 attack on Paul Pelosi, told investigators that the two engaged in sexual relations over our drugs without providing proof of claim. However, there is no publicly available evidence that the, ba- the baby uh, made these statements to officials. One Twitter user sharing the claim said David tells investigators that he and Paul were engaging in gay sex and an ar- argument in suit over drugs. And uh, but official records and statements do not support the claim uh, that uh, Paul uh, uh, the baby told investigators he was engaged in sexual relation with Pelosi, the husband of U.S. speaker. And it's okay. So so this is this is this is what's spreading right now. And Don Lemon, uh, somebody was telling the story. Don was like, I can't believe they're doing this. And uh, you know, th- th- this some people are saying. This was really going on. They're trying to hide this from the public. Well, look, I mean, the reason that this this sex thing started was there was a report by Fox 10. Now, this is not, by the way, the Fox News Channel. This is not a right wing. So this is the local Fox reporting station. And a, a reporter who in covered, San Francisco, in San Francisco, okay. yes, uh, Fox 10 in San Francisco. And the local uh, r- reporter covering the story, very reliable guy, said that not only was Paul Pelosi in his underwear, but so was the attacker. Think about this for a minute. Yeah. So you're thinking, wait a minute, Paul Pelosi's in his underwear. Okay, it's his house. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. Sleeping. He's I mean, sleeping. You're sleeping in a suit and tie? What do you, of course right. you're in underwear. But the idea that the attacker's in his underwear was like, whoa, what the hell's going on there? The, so that's what started leading to the idea that this was some kind of rendezvous that went sideways yeah. or something. And then they corrected that. They said, oh, that's not the case. He wasn't in his underwear. So as far as I know, this thing got dropped. The sex thing got dropped right. and stopped talking about it. Now, the NBC thing is more telling because if you look at the NBC report, and the guy is obviously not trying to get Pelosi or get he's, – he's just reporting, Right. He makes two points that are damaging. First of all, he says that when, when, when Paul Pelosi came to the door and, the, and, and met the cops, instead of exiting the, the apartment, he turned around and returned to the, quote, scene of the crime where he was then attacked. And that right away raises the question that was Paul Pelosi even, did he even feel threatened by this guy? If not, why would you walk back into his Mm -hmm. vicinity? And the second thing they said was that even though the police were at the Pelosi residence, they didn't know it was Pelosi's residence. They didn't even know it was Nancy Pelosi's husband. So in other words, it made them look like idiots. That's so, just so idiotic. So, so the NBC <laughs> report know. was damaging to the cops and it was damaging to Paul Pelosi. And so that's my point is, is my question is when NBC says it doesn't meet our standards, is that they don't meet your standards of truth or they don't meet your standards of not fitting the narrative and making yeah. the Pelosi's look bad and therefore you took it down. Can you pull up the windows? Can you pull up the glass window? Shatter. Just type in glass window Paul Pelosi. Click on images. There's there's one thing that's a little weird. Uh, when you look at this, go click on it and uh, go to go to yeah. You can zoom in zoom in on that one. The one that you have. The one that you just okay. That one right there. If someone's breaking in, when you break the window and you hit it, glass goes the other way. Why is glass coming out? Do, do you get what I'm saying? So I don't know if this makes sense. What I'm asking. Go on another picture. Maybe we can have a better angle. Like, if I'm trying to break into a house... That's a, that's a CSI question. Yeah, so if I'm breaking into a house right and I'm cracking... Look, I'm a military guy, but I'm not a CSI guy. 
If I hit the window with the hammer to break in, glass should go in, not out. But why is it coming out? It's kind of a little weird when so, you look uh, at that. So where are you going with that? Maybe the guy was trying to get out from Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get out I mean, of here. Stop it, bro. I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm, gonna know I'm not saying he's trying yeah. to get out. No, no, All I'm well, saying is. You also can't see how much glass is on the inside. There's only a little bit of glass on the outside. I don't know. We're not, the glass thing. I'll tell you what upsets me. There's like This, this is where like rumors and conspiracy theories kind of go down a rabbit hole, Dinesh. Okay, let's say they're both under something freaking weird. This guy's 82 years old. He's married to Nancy for the God for five decades now. There's zero stories out there. Correct me if I'm wrong. For the last 50 years, he's been in the public eye that he's had any weird sexual gay stuff, tendencies, any of that. And you're going to wait till you're 82 years old a week before midterms with some fucking delusional guy. To that's where you're going to seize the moment to do a little sword fighting. And it seems so weird to me. Maybe yeah. it's just now breaking. You know, I mean, you've not been married to Nancy Pelosi for five decades. <laughs> it's not like he's married to Melania and Trump, right? It's, it's but, Nancy but Pelosi. The point is, do you do you give any any credibility to this gay sex story? No, I don't now. Um, I, when when I first heard the double underwear story, I was like, hmm, that's interesting. Look, let me let me put it this way. I think that this story is coming at a time when people have developed a deep distrust of. Our public institutions, it, it, and it, it and happened, media. It, yeah, and it happened slowly, but it's it's now very far advanced. People don't believe the media. I think with uh, with a lot of justification, uh, they don't believe the FBI. No, they don't. They only believe their media. They believe their media. Okay, they don't believe the other side. They only right. believe their side. Yeah, they don't. But they don't trust the CDC. I mean, uh, there are you know you can't trust scholarly journals these days. Think about it. Journals like the Lancet have admitted this is the most prestigious medical journal in the world mm -hmm. has admitted that they have published doctor data that they have known things were false and published them because they quote served the public good. Mm -hmm. You know, these you have these top scientists saying we we don't know. We're not involved of gain of function research. Turns out that they do know they are involved. Uh, you know, they're making these deadly viruses and we knew nothing about it for over a year, even after COVID. You know, mm -hmm. um, the, they never seriously consider where this virus comes from. So suddenly people look at this and again now they're in the past yeah. you'd have a san francisco police chief this is what happened and they'd be like yeah okay that's what happened you know because, and, and and i was like that too i mean right. because science has even got politicized these days and we've all trust the science trust the science then you see what's happened with covid or even like global warming and it's like i, I will say hard to trust i will say science. this when you say stuff like he's never had anything in the past stuff like that the guy just got a dui like a few weeks ago right. i mean you're talking about an 82 year old guy that just got a dui I'd love to know what is the oldest DUI in the history of America. Can you pull it up? Like, who is the oldest person ever? Did? He he deserves the right to be in a Guinness Book of World Records. He's on the leaders' board now. The, yeah, but, if, okay, so, but, but all I'm what saying, are you saying there? Oh, no, no, if you're acting irresponsibly lately. So if you're saying the guy right. doesn't have a track record, you have a track record of. Just a few weeks ago, getting a DUI. Yes, you are acting irresponsibly. That doesn't mean the yeah. sort fight. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> yeah. But all I'm saying to you is the track record is recent. Well, You've you, been acting irresponsibly yeah. getting a DUI. Well, you know where I stand on DUIs. I feel like you should be like fully, fully Uber Lyft. Yeah, this, like these days, if you get a DUI, especially for public But that's a different figures, discussion. Let's not that, get sidetracked. But my point is all I'm that saying, has nothing to do know, with all gay I'm, underwear sex. I, who, who's dude? No, I'm just you're I'm not, an analogy. No, though. no. You said, does he have a track record of I just, gayness? I'm not saying gayness. <laughs> I'm telling you, being irresponsible. Okay, being irresponsible. He has a track record oh, of being there's irresponsible. There's no doubt he has a track record 82, of being irresponsible. At, the stocks that they're doing. Yeah, all there's that. so many I'm not things. Not defending his. his he doesn't have the biggest moral uh, authority and credibility right now. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.